Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem 3 sum with multiplicity, its index is 923 and it is the medium problem of the lead code. Okay, so this problem is related to two pointers. We would be solving this problem in O of n square time uh, with the help of uh, two pointers like we need to find total number of pairs total number of tuples i comma j comma k such that they are satisfying this condition these two conditions okay so given an integer array and an integer target we need to return the total number of tuples i j k such that i should be strictly less than j and j should be strictly less than k and array of i plus array of j plus array of k must be equal to target since the answer can be very large we need to return it modulo this prime number okay now if you look out this condition array of i plus array of j plus array of k is exactly equal to target and i should be less than j should be less than k in other words we need to find total number of three distinct indices in this array a uh, such that their sum is exactly equal to target and we need to sum up all those count of tuples that are that is present in this given array okay so if you look out the constraints you will see n is at most 3000 it would uh, give us the idea of uh, o of n squared solution so we would be solving this problem in o of n squared plus n log n uh, n log o of n squared plus o of n log n time okay so i will tell you all those approaches like uh, so let's begin uh, first with uh, the problem statement so we need to find three indices i j and k such that their sum that if we will do their sum will be exactly equal to the given value target okay so i will uh, explain you two approaches in this video the very first approach would be hash map based approach and the very second approach would be two pointers okay so first let's understand the problem with a small example so i will pick up this example double one four times two target five okay so here we go double one okay and four times two and finally the our target is going to be the value 5 okay so we need to find out the total number of tuples so if you look out that if we fix one of the numbers like we have to find array of i we need to find array of j as well as we need to find array of k so what about fixing uh, exactly one number suppose we fix array of i suppose we fix this one okay so our new target new target would become 5 minus 1 which is 4 so we need to search total number of pairs in this array such that like in this array such that uh, their sum is exactly 4 okay so you can see if you pick up any two numbers in this set then it will correspond to the sum exactly equal to 4 so we have 4 numbers so taking any two numbers is 4c2 which is 6 okay so we have the pairs like this one like taking this one and any two numbers from this one okay so we have one and any two among the indices starting from if you consider zero based index in zero one two two to the n minus one so we have total six pairs right among such uh, pairs present similarly if you fix up this number again you have the total six wish to choose uh, any two numbers among this such that their sum exactly equal to four plus one which would be become the actual target uh, whose sum is exactly equal to the actual target so to our answer is six plus six which is coming out to be 12 if you look out that your answer is actually 12 and this is the correct answer okay so here we go so we will talk about the very first hash map based approach okay hash map so what we do is like uh, for every index i like suppose uh, we are at this index right so we already know array of k like we are fixing this array of k fix this value so if we are able uh, if we are fixing this value 
like so our new uh, equation would be array of i plus array of j plus this known value which is array of k because we know this value exactly equal to the target since we know this value known so our new uh, equation would become array of i plus array of j exactly equal to the new target okay so new underscore target which is actually equal to target minus the known value which is array of k now uh, if you look at this uh, statement like uh, this equation which actually says that we need to find two pairs such that their sum we need to find a pair such that their sum area of i plus area of j exactly equal to new target and uh, since we are fixing this area of k we need to find among these positions total number of pairs such that their sum exactly equal to the new target okay so we would always keep a hash map that will store pairs with the given sum pairs with the sum suppose we have a pair called i comma j then we will store sum of i sorry we will store the let's say the hash map name is uh, let's say mp so we will store uh, mp of array of i plus array of j plus uh, equal to 1 there exists one pair whose sum is this one and we will in increment the count of the sum in the hash map so if you are at this area of k we need to uh, find uh, uh, we need to find total number of pairs such that their sum is exactly equal to the new target so we will increment our answer at this position of uh, like at this position we will increment our answer is answer plus equal to mp of note that uh, i will write new target new target is actually target minus array of k okay so this will give us the answer for the current position now if you are done with this current position then we need to move to the next position so we will add up all those pairs which will uh, which will be added at this current position since the current position is uh, the kth position array of k the value is array of k we will add up all those pairs so how we will add up all those pairs so for every i belongs to 0 to suppose the current position is k minus 1 then we will add up array of i plus array of k in the hash map so that for the next in the for the future uh, answers this will be like all the pairs will be stored in the hash map right so this will give us the complexity of o of n square if we have uh, if you have a good hashing function that works in o of 1 average time right and also the space complexity is also o of n square to store all pairs so if you look out my submissions i have uh, the very first submission that goes over here that is actually in hash map based solution Okay, so n is added out size and answer is initialized with 0 and we had taken an unordered map of pairs. So for the starting from the every position i, so our answer will be incremented by total number of pairs that is present with value exactly equal to new target. The new target is actually target minus array of i and we will also follow this modulus sign if the answer overflows. And since we are done with this current answers, like we have found the answers, we need to add up all those pairs uh, because of the current uh, element value. So for all the uh, j that is strictly less than i, we will add up all those pairs area of i plus area of j into our hash map. So that uh, in the future uh, answers, we need to, to know all the pairs that are present before the current index. Right. Okay. So we will add up all those pairs and finally return all the answers that we have found okay so there is another solution also uh, which is based on two pointers so let's discuss that also so our second solution is two pointers so suppose we have an array like this one 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 two 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 and our target is five okay so what the very first uh, uh, First logic is first we need to sort the array because we are working with the two pointers and for sorting after sorting our uh, since we need to find the pairs it would become a very easy 
find all those since for a sorted array so sort the array so this is actually an important step that we need to do in the beginning and now we have a sorted array like this one you can see I have a sorted array right and since we need to find the pair so what I will do is like I will start with uh, the like fixing uh, since you have three terms we will fix uh, exactly one term and then we'll find the pairs corresponding to the remaining sum right so what I will do I will start with this position i and I will fix it fix right if you will fix it we need to find this uh, pairs corresponding to this uh, array of j plus array of k exactly equal to new target new target would be this uh, target minus array of i right okay so when we fix this our uh, left pointer would be i plus 1 and our, our right pointer would be n minus 1 okay since we have a sorted array over here let me just encircle it so this is our uh, yeah over here this is our sorted array and we need to find uh, two, uh, all the pairs such that uh, array of L plus array of R exactly equal to new target okay so we need to find all those pairs so since this is a sorted array it will help us to find all those pairs so uh, we will initialize L as from I plus 1 and R from N minus 1 so each time while we will check L should be strictly less than an R and we will find how the numbers will be how the pairs will be added since we, uh, here we are working for the new target exactly equal to 4 ok so we, when you will initialize L over here and R over here you will end up with uh, all the pairs that we need to count like uh, suppose your current state is R is uh, having the value 2 and L is corresponding to the value 1 so the current sum is 3 and our new target is 4 since 3 is less than 4 and the array is sorted we will increment L like you need to check it out if current sum that is array of L plus array of R is greater than target if then we need to decrement R to find out the current sum to find out the state such that the current sum is exactly equal to target we will decrement R and if current sum it is strictly less than target so we need to find uh, all the pairs so that current sum exactly equal to target so here the current sum is less than target so we will increment L and what about when the current sum is exactly equal to target ok so let's talk about that kit also if current sum is exactly equal to target right so we need to find all those pairs so it would be something like this suppose we have a 2 2 2 2 and we have a 3 3 3 3 ok now here we have the position of L and position of R so that 3 plus 2 is exactly called the new target suppose I am talking about any general case so new target is suppose 5 and uh, array of L is 2 and it is 3 ok so what I will do is like I will uh, look out for all those numbers which are equal to the array of L let it be L count and for all those numbers whose value is exactly equal to R let it be R count now you can see if L count and R count out the numbers such that uh, array of L plus array of R will be exactly equal and L count and R count corresponds to the values uh, having the same values as of array of L and R count denotes the number of numbers having the same value as array of R so our answer would be incremented by number of pairs such that L count will be exactly multiplied by R count right ok so this is the total number of pairs that we need to add up now note that also here I is something fixed over here is this position and L denotes the there is some random position and R denotes some position greater than L and uh, L count and R count denotes the number of numbers so that their values are same uh, equal with respect to array of L and array of R respectively so our answer will be incremented by number of pairs for the current state which is L count and R count then we will increment both L like when we will increment L and decrement R because we are done with this value like 2 plus 3 
so we'll search for some other values okay so let's look out the code how we'll implement that efficiently okay so you can see first i've sorted this array and uh, because sorting help us to perform the two pointers uh, criteria efficient like we need to fix up two pointers and count the pairs so it when it the array will be sorted it will help us to find out the pairs easily so l is i plus one and r is n minus one you can see over here so while l is less than r we will figure it out what is the current sum if it exactly matches with the target yes we need to find out the pairs let's initialize l count and r count as one and we will check while l array of l is exactly equal to array of l plus one so we'll increment l and l, l count as well similarly for this case also uh, decrement r and increment r count so there exists also one uh, extra case like what if uh, l matches with r like all the numbers where the current state are same like array of l is exactly equal to array of r so we need to take all the pairs uh, corresponding to l count so it would be l c2 like l count c2 so l count into l count minus 1 upon 2 so we will add up all those uh, otherwise we will have two different l counts and r counts like uh, it will correspond to some distinct value of array of l and array of r they are not same so we will multiply the total number of elements which have values equal to array of l uh, which will be denoted by l count and similarly r count for array of r and we will multiply those values to find out the current number of pairs and increment l decrement r to reach uh, to check out for the next conditions and what about if the sum current sum is greater than target since we need to move to the current sum exactly equal to target we will decrement r otherwise we will have to increment l if the current sum is strictly less than target and finally we will re uh, return the answer so the time complexity is o of n square since uh, for the entire these two for loops and n log n for sorting this array space complexity would remain o of 1 so if you have any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and uh, thank you for watching this video